I call my wife. Atlantic. You see, whenever we make love, I would place her left leg in West Africa and her right leg in the West Indies. <laughs> She would always have earthquake orgasms and produce an oceanic flow in between those two regions. And like a true captain, I try to handle the rough seas, but I always end up coming in both. Being thrown overboard in this case isn't bad because I know that she has fully opened up to me and wants all of me to be inside of her. You see, these waters don't contain the saline taste of other waters, but an actual demerara taste that gives me instant cavities once invading my mouth, cleansing all of my skin. I feel so pure and like a new man once I reach land again. You see, my wife always reminds me of why I married her. She tells me that anyone can swim in a pool, but it takes a real swimmer to survive deep in the ocean. Remembering how these same waters were the source of transporting my ancestors, I become vexed and start viciously splashing in these waters. Thinking about all the people that didn't make it across that were thrown overboard and fed the sharks in these waters. I then think again, about how grateful I am to be in these waters where my ancestors once were, and with the spirits of my poor fathers and poor mothers, I stay afloat, showing her that with this power, I plan to give it all of my might to survive in these waters. High tide, low tide, can't interrupt how I am riding the waves. Now smiling at how I am able to reincarnate with many have died. To now being able to create life in this region, I hold my breath, squint my eyes, my body shivers and begins to lock. And while I explode in her waters and become submerged, a soul is going to be placed in the life that I am going to create. So men, tell your wives that it is time to bring back the kings and queens that didn't have the opportunity to survive. And I want to bring them back to life.